Hello everyone. Hi. We're going to show you Danger to D burning stage and the co-commentator will be Lord Mouse and Smartkin. And as you see behind me, there are the train passengers. So I hope you will enjoy your ride. Yeah. It will be a rough one, I can say that. I'll check the tickets later, don't worry. So I show you a little bit of the intro, so you know what the hell is going on. Yeah, Multi-track drifting trains. <laughs> so this is the second game of the series. It's Burning Stage, which, which got released 2011. Yeah, it got released 2011. It's the second game in the series. First one was Lightning Stage, which is a bit pale nowadays. And also, what, what, hands up, I'm going to say when the countdown starts, or the timer. And also, awesome music. The timer starts in three, two, one, go! go. <laughs> so immediately at the beginning, we start to bump into the opponent's train a little bit. So this makes that we gain a little bit of speed, because if you bump into your opponent while mid-turn, uh, you gain for some reason speed. Something as well, we modified the song for this, so if you can hear out what it is, then leave us a message in chat. <laughs> I hope you're still doing good with all this bumping. Yeah. Oh, we just flew up. Oh, we just flew a little, that's okay. So we try to get in front of Mark and Suzuki, which is the first stage of this game. Woo! The first multi-track trip. And now we're just waiting that she bumps us a little bit. So we get a little bit faster. Woo! You like flying? Yeah, that will happen more. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> see your trains. Yeah. So, someone just go where the head. So, some people we left some people behind. Yeah. We're sorry. Yeah, rip second. Well, oh, ahead, I rather. <laughs> so the main. Um, <laughs> it's not <laughs> flips. We're just flipping. Yeah. I hope you're doing good. Okay, the main technique is you gain a lot of speed if you're getting out of an invert drift or outside drift in a turn. Yeah, that can happen a few times. Don't worry about Let's it. Hope no one gets dizzy, right? Yeah, don't get dizzy. So this first stage is the longest of them all in the speed run, at least. It's about over a little bit of 10 minutes. Oh, so <laughs> yeah. I hope you guys are doing well. We just uh, that was their stop. Yeah. The same. We're just picking them up in the main oh, yeah. train. It's okay. So what is the story behind Marco and Suzuki? Does anyone know? Uh, well, we're talking about uh, original initial. Yeah, the original initially, yeah. Uh, oh, as far as I remember, they just asked Takumi to race on oh, uh, to race on their track that they're like the best in. And Takumi just agrees and, and wins on first try. So one of them, I think it was Marco actually, is always driving, but Sajuki yeah. is giving her like um, directions and whatnot, and also like, yeah, there's a right turn coming up soon, so prepare for that, prepare for, prepare for drift or whatever. Uh, if she drives alone, she is just like not good at it. So in here, they also drive the train together, or ride the train together. Terminology, it's fine. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then Takumi, in this case, the train, but in the in initial D, he basically just like, oh sure and beats them after like a 10 times or whatever cat and mouse game so they were like no uh, no no it, it was like during the, like one of the uh, one of the turns Marco took too much speed and yeah through. but like they yeah. went up and down like uphill and downhill no no it wasn't like down i think i think it was, was, was it just down yeah okay so yeah, downhill, it was like 10 times until back and forth. yeah back and forth so they switched um, if someone overtook the other guy uh, like other person and uh, one later on that's Oh, finish first. That's the uh, that's where they won. Or if the other person was like more than ten seconds behind, also running behind if I remember correctly. Ah, and here you that's just need to finish first. So sadly. So yeah, because we are using her to bump us and lose all of our cards. We are like stopping Mark and Suzuki a little bit. So this gives us a chance to go really far ahead. So they probably never catch up. Yeah. But if you like standing AFK around for like two minutes, they catch up. But uh, yeah, the the crucial part about this stage is there are a couple of split, uh, splits coming up. If you are spacing out because you're focused on multi-track drifting, uh, you will you will just detach your card. Yeah, like at some points the track just splits, and if you are multi-track drifting during that point, you you'll just yeah. uh, 
play. Well, once you're talking about that, I think it's fair to uh, go for explaining what the cards at the top mean, of which we only have um, hot numbers right now. Uh -huh. That's um, the first split here. Yeah, so this is the first split he needed to switch back from the multi track drifting, otherwise he would self-propel. So there's multiple states, the cards can be in. Green means perfectly fine, everything's cool. Um, orange means, or orange and shaking, I think. Yeah. Um, is when they're like about to derail. Red is when they are derailed, which you really don't want to have happen to you on like the third card and uh, anything before that. So fourth card usually is fine if that happens. Um, otherwise you'll lose speed. And blue is um, drifting in this case, so like multi track drifting or on two lanes, whatever. And as I was mentioning, the, uh, the self-propelled impossibility that happens um, if you don't, if you are like going so far off the track that you aren't able to uh, get the train back on. Yeah. So I think we, we didn't mention yet that this is actually a parody of Initial D. Yeah. So the Dentity D yeah. manga is based on the Initial D manga, which came out one year later, um, as we figured out. And we figured out this year it's the 20th anniversary of Dentity D. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is a really long ongoing um, manga. And as we said, there are four games now yeah. that are fully released. And um, well, now the split is coming up. So I need to Yeah, be so the slower. first one is Lightning Stage. We saw that at pretty much every marathon up until now. Yeah. yeah. So that one, we did submit it, or he did, did submit it. We submitted all four games, of which um, Burning Stage got in. That's the second one in the series. Lightning Stage was the first one, released 2010. Burning Stage, the second one released. Oh, nice camera. Yeah. Um, Burning Stage released in 2011. Yep. You like the view? <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Climax Stage, the third one, was released in 2012. And then there's Rising Stage released in 2014. That's the fourth game. And the fifth one, called Shining Stage, is currently in development. It's set to release later this year, but it's not 100% clear yet. We really yeah. hope it's going to be released so we can get on that grind as well. Find some glitches. Oh, hopefully it's not like 40 minutes per stage. Oh yeah, oh. Uh, you can play already the demo. It's all yeah, you, on yeah, the Inushi's demo. website. Yeah. So whatever you do, if you want to pick up these games, which I really encourage you, um, they're fun. They are technical. You, it's yeah. not just this. Um, then I would not recommend starting out with Rising Stage. It's the most appealing of the series because like it's, it's the newest. Yeah, it's yeah. the newest, and it's like it has a bunch more strats or things you can do. But there is, un unlike the other three games where you just need to be first in the finish, you have to hit some spe specific clear flags. If you don't reach, so like on one stage there's like 40 minutes, you literally just drive 40 minutes, it's 140 kilometers. Um, and yeah. if you don't hit all clear flags and you still finish first, you won't finish the stage. Yeah. Like you as in, you have to do it again. Yeah, you just lose for some reason. I don't know why he did it for only that game, though. I don't know. The, the thing with this game, for example, Burning Stage is also the only game in the series that had in two stages save sets. Yeah, checkpoints. Yeah, checkpoints. Yeah. I don't know why, but the funny thing, our train is currently a little bit of de detached, as you can see. A um, little bit. But as you see in the top right, it does a quick save. If I would say load that quick save now, my card would be fully repaired, or my train. So, yeah. nice, another split. Yeah, this is the last split. Yeah, it's the last split. It's the end of the first stage is coming up soon. Normally there would be intense music going on with the battle with Marco Suzuki. We've got intense music, what are you talking yeah. about? But who made this music? Alright, so we asked someone that's doing um, Eurobeat remixes on YouTube to maybe do one for ESA, special occasion, and he agreed to doing one. We didn't really come up with any si anything, so I was like, hmm, how about we actually take Tokyo Drift and turn it into a Eurobeat song? Because like <laughs> it, it already has one of the terms in it, you know? Yeah. And Tokyo is Japan, so might as well fits. And it was made by Turbo. Um, that's he has a different name that I'm allowed to say. <laughs> um, he told me it's fine to refer to him as Turbo. If you're watching, yeah. great remix. Really yeah. enjoying it. Hope great everyone song. else is also enjoying it. Yeah. So you see me like going from the outside drift to the to normal state again. If I spam this as I do now. I maintain a little bit faster speed, it's like only one or two kilometers, depends on the stage, but on this stage it's only one or two kilometers. Oh yeah, especially through the corners, if you do it through there you gain like a small speed boost for a short yeah. amount of time. But on the straightaways it doesn't work. It takes a couple of seconds over the whole... Yeah, if you, if you do that throughout the entire run you'll easily get a few seconds. 
So what can happen here if you switch too often the lanes from uh, there are now four tracks? If I just switch around, my my train would for some reason turn around, does a 180, and then flies into oblivion. And if I don't hit the trigger to win, I had to redo the whole. Yeah, you, you also have pro self propel. Yeah. It's effectively speed boosting, self propelling possibility that also happens in climax stage at certain parts if you do it too often. No idea why. Then again, it's a completely custom engine made yeah. by Junucci, the developer, which we didn't talk about yet at all. Yeah. From what we know, it's one guy doing everything. So, yeah. mad props to Junucci for taking up this project of four games and now the fifth one as well. Yeah. Which, interestingly enough, is in Unity. Yeah. So, yeah, like, engine, yeah. yeah, no custom engine anymore. It also looks phenomenal. Graphics are amazing. Oh, this call is shiny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you have your ticket? Yeah, I do. Okay, good. Does anyone have their ticket? I'm taking you for free? That looks good. I Everyone should, go, has I should go around and like tick on them. So yeah, yeah. yeah, check them out. Check if they have tickets. Otherwise, you just throw them out. <laughs> so a special occasion here. We you're racing as Kaisuke? I don't know. Uh, racing uh, as Kaisuke against Nakazato. Yeah. So. The special thing about this stage is we can actually move during the cutscene, which is normally not possible. Nice! Why is he looping all the time? <laughs> well, we just did the cutscene, apparently. <laughs> I guess we duped the cutscene a couple of times, yeah. so he said the same thing over and over and over again. So, this stage is pretty simple. We just be in front of him and use the outside drift to the normal stage state again to like be always in front of him. So also the the Dancha D music is extremely good. Yeah, yeah. I really like it. It's so from most of the songs are from the Sugano music circle. And oh my god, oh. where's he coming from? Oh well. Hell yeah. So everyone has their tickets, but one guy is forever for whatever reason sitting up in the baggage department, like where you put your suitcases. Uh -huh. I don't know why. Ah, interesting. Maybe that's why I'm like losing a little bit. Yeah, you're like you have more weight. <laughs> More weight? No! No way! It's no problem, we can like easily overtake him. Yeah, if you stay yeah. on track, it's fine. Well, that could be a train wreck if I stay on track, you know? If you don't. Okay. Good song. like it. Every time I play any of these games, I just like subconsciously do the head shake. It's just... Eurobeat is great. Yes. The world needs more Eurobeat. As someone in the previous run already said. Like the, the, the one before Millennium Racer. Ah. That was... Who, who was running that again? Raimu Harukai. Ah. I'm impressed she all came all the way here from Japan to play that game. Okay, we get just a little bump here, I hope. Nagazato is not taking me over again. Normally that would be in a normal run, that would be a reset. I don't know if you can finish this, <laughs> but we, we see, we see. Probably. This this game has one of the most interesting glitches. You've seen in Lightning Stage, we've performed like 300 kilometers per hour in yeah. winter, and we're going way, way faster in this game, in the yeah, last this, stage. This game can reach oh. some awesome speeds. Yeah. It can even go so fast that the game crashes because we go too fast. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this stage is roughly four minutes something long. I don't really know. Yeah, Densha is pretty much an auto scroller if you're ahead in some games. Except yeah. for yeah. Rising Stage, where, as I said, you need to yeah. go slow to hit some triggers. Yeah, yeah. stop it. You actually yeah. need to follow the rules of the game. Yeah, <laughs> who does that? <laughs> How long is the Rising Stage speedrun? One and a half hours? Uh, I think it's like 140 or 150. I mean, That's imagine, Yanushi made that one of the stages in Rising Stage is actually the original length of yeah. this oh, in real life. So it's 1 by 40 one. kilometers it's long. 140 kilometers. Kilometers? Kolomolos. Kolomolos. Mm. Mm, I like rain. Okay. So, do we need a Eurobeat remix uh, from I Love a Rainy Night now for this stage? <laughs> Pro probably. Like, I'll ask him. <laughs> I just want to just do like um, a raining. It's raining man or something like that. It's raining trains. Hallelujah! No. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, their underground train racing is still going on here. Nagazato is nowhere to see. 
not nearby. Yeah, he's just he's gone. Yeah. There's no chance. He blew his engine again back this first. <laughs> Actually, interesting question. Can you blow Nakazato's engine in this game as well if you go to I, I don't think you can. Okay. Sad. Yeah, you can. But he still uses the car engine. Okay. Yeah. In a train. R R32 was it, I think. Yeah. Rising stage, was it rising stage or climbing stage where you like fly around? The climbing stage was the yeah. flying one. Yeah. I submitted that as well and it sadly didn't get in. Maybe winter, who knows? Maybe. Would the like to show up more. Climbing stage enemies. has a very interesting glitch where yeah. you just skip one entire stage that's like usually 15 minutes long. I found that by accident and it was like my muscle memory set in and I wanted to go for the next stage and I couldn't because it wasn't unlocked. But the next one was unlocked so I was like, what? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that works in any of the other games either <laughs> as well. Just, just do it now. Come on. Find yeah, it, I just, yeah. I just find a new trick. No problem, man. Get the record. Yeah. And that would be the second stage. Oh yeah, the cutscenes are also very funny. I see if I can show them off at some point. I don't know how funny these cutscenes are. I know that after we finished the game, there's a funny cutscene, so I just gonna show that off. Yeah. The, oh, the cutscenes yeah. don't really get crazy until the end of the stage, or like the burning stage. Okay, let's see. Next one is Kenta. Yeah, this is a pretty good countdown. <laughs> so yeah, the manga has a bunch of references to like anime and also other mangas. It's, I'm not kidding you if I say there is a Jojo reference in one of these. <laughs> Oh yeah, in, sh in the Shining Stage demo, if you play that, uh, at the beginning of the uh, station, when you start, there's a Jojo uh, picture poster nice. on the wall. Yeah. I just noted it because I was playing the Shining Stage demo, and that is really broken. <laughs> you haven't even watched Jojo yet, you should. Yeah. It's a good anime. Yeah. Watch Jojo. If Jojo had trains, I would watch. It, I think, it, yeah, it does, actually. Oh. They are they are taking a train in yeah. uh, Stardust Crusaders. Yeah, and in part five too. Part five as well. I have <laughs> not watched part five. I'm watching uh, Jojo together with a friend, and like we just stopped at some points. I also watched or tried to watch Wangan Midnight with that guy, but uh, I don't know he barely has time. So we're on episode man. episode four or whatever. I mean, I have to take people to their station, right? Just so. watch it whilst driving. That would be dangerous. Train, train drifting. Dirty drifting. I mean, train drifting is a serious business. That's why Japanese trains are always on time. Ah, true. Deutsche Bahn could take a slice from that. Yeah, definitely. We do that joke every time. Yeah. I'm surprised it doesn't get old yet. They, Unlike Deutsche Bahn, they're never la they're never delayed. They start putting the statistic of being late after like 120 minutes. Oh yeah, right. Everything other is like bearable, you know. Was that the policy? If your train is 120 minutes late, you get it for free? No, wait, that's a pizza thing. What? <laughs> yeah, and you I would be surprised like if my pizza would be 120 minutes late. <laughs> I mean, did it happen to you yet? So it's not unlikely. It could be. He's just driving around the block the whole time <laughs> if he wants to deliver it. I had that once. He was really? like, I can't find your host. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> nice. Woo! Well, I hope you're doing well. I'm yeah. derailing a train right now. Yeah. We'll, just, we'll just leave you guys behind. Yep. Oh, oh, no, oh, they're, they're, they're going ahead. <laughs> yep. I love that the taillights are their own entities. So the train just like, or the car just yeah. goes forward. And then a few seconds later, you see the taillights go. <laughs> Yeah, you also have to multi-track here. It's actually like required. Yeah. To multi-track for that. Otherwise, it's you only will necessary not to do it once during that entire section. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to do it throughout. If you exit out the tunnel, you have to multi-track drift. Otherwise, you can't catch up. Why are you guys screaming so yeah. much? <laughs> Hello. I'm a good train conductor. Okay. Oh my god, I just... Whoops! Oh, what oh, are you doing? That's a thing. <laughs> that's okay. Did that happen oh. before? <laughs> See ya! But yeah, this is just a cutscene, I can just skip it. Did yeah. this happen before? No. No. <laughs> that never happened before again. Yeah. That never happened. 
So this time we are racing... Oh, yeah. Seiji. Seiji. On a familiar track. Yep. You may remember it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sick of seeing this. <laughs> yeah, this track it, is just a reminder. <laughs> this is just a reminder of the nightmares I have from... I, I personally have from Lightning Stage. When we first ran, like, when Konasumi, who's also, like, uh, ran yeah. that game, or runs that game, and I first did a blind race of this, we were stuck on the last stage for like, I don't know, an hour or so, up until I just randomly finished it. I was like, weird. I couldn't explain it to him how I did it, because it just happened. Yeah, that happens. So the funny thing is, we recently found in this stage a kind of trick where I once got it accidentally, and I could never reproduce it, but then the Japanese runner Mirai actually figured out a a consistent way. A consistent way to get that trick, and you go 200, over 200 kilometers, which is which saves overall like 45 seconds in the stage yeah. at one point. So we want That's to, a lot. Yeah, we just want to break a specific point or stand still or derail, so he boosts us a lot. Well, I try to pull it off. It's really difficult. You can still do it if you won't pull it off. Yeah, I can still win. He's well, bad. Oh. Yeah, I'm, it's consistent, but yeah, I can't consistent. do it. <laughs> yeah, your favorite word, RNG. Hell yeah. It's RNG. It's all RNG. But yeah, at one point, so, Sage just wants to overtake you because he's sick of being behind. Oh, yeah, there, there we go. And now you can actually see the real effect of going out of the drift a lot in turns. So just keep an eye on the speedometer. So yeah, we're going a zero kilometers per hour. Yeah, we're not so yeah. moving. We're not moving. So you see, we get like a massive boost each time we go out of a turn. It's good for speedrun. You want to yeah. go fast. And at least I got all my passengers with me, so you yeah. all are fine. Yeah. Also. If you pay close attention, every time he goes faster, the screen goes like a bit brighter. Yeah. That will go a bit insane in the last stage. Yes, yeah. so it's already a warning if you have some epilepsy or something. Uh, be aware that in the last stage, that could trigger, because we just see a lot of flashing lights. So the funny thing is, when I got that accidentally, I, I, I was doing an emergency brake because I thought I would derail here. It looks kind of oh. like it. Yeah, it looks like you're going to derail. Mirai was like, Okay, I just do it without breaking, and yeah. he was then 30 seconds faster than I Can't was. you do that in lightning stage as well? Yeah. 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 But, but yeah, uh, the, like the way uh, Jugashi did it, he, is he triggered the cutscene when he uh, when Seiji overtakes you and got bumped. If you actually get bumped before triggering the cutscene, you actually derail in that turn. So you actually have to trigger the cutscene. Oh. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, really specific. I actually like didn't know that. I mainly run climax stage because flying trains, and it's a short run. I won't touch Rising Stage for a while. <laughs> yeah, Rising Stage is uh, notorious. It just, well, uh, it's just super long. Like, practicing years. it is a bit... Uh, yes, because if you would have um, quick saves, yeah, it would be like much he, better. Like in Burning Stage, yeah. yeah. But for some reason, he only put in quick uh, saves in Burning Stage in the first and the last yeah. stage. Yeah. stage. I don't know why. Well, well, they're the longest, I guess. Yeah, so. they're the longest. But I mean, Unless... <laughs> well, mostly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the original length of the final stage would be, if you play casually, roughly 16 minutes. Yeah, it's like really long. And so basically the only thing that happens is both trains just go neck and neck with each yeah. other. So you can't really like multi like. Yeah. Do you think there's some time for donations? There are any. If there's any donations, sure. Yeah. I'm gonna do the thing here. <laughs> Hope the chat has tickets as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is not a free ride, okay? You have to donate. You have to. Donate for your ticket now. So yeah, the second car just flies oh. into the goal. And that was... You lost! Oh my god, okay. <laughs> nice. We're gonna stack up all our trains here. Second card won. You lost. You know, this is the second to last stage coming up. Yeah. We're racing against him again. <laughs> no, it's not against Seiji, it's uh, against... Uh, Kyoichi. Kyoichi, yeah. Kyoichi has a bit of a different train. It's like the same model, but like different number. So Smartkin, you showed me a trick here. Yeah. How to get faster. I won't pull it off. 
You can, can try it. I can try you it. You can try it. Are you consistent in it? I, yeah. Yeah. I am. Do yeah. it. Oh my god. <laughs> if I fail, this is gonna be your fault. Okay, that's fine. Come on, Smartkin. Okay, it's a passenger comes to drive the train now. So in this turn, you do an inverse drift and then exit at a specific point. And then, and then we're gonna detach you guys just for a bit. You're gonna be helpful. <laughs> yeah, so we will let you go ahead. That's how I like to drive, drive trains. So at the end of this stage, we are gonna get a slowdown cutscene, which is uh, pretty long. And one of the things is, if you saw the cuts just uh, doing the flips, it also slows down the game, but only for a short time, and it comes back to its normal speed. So by using that, we can override the slowdown and get it back to normal and end the cutscene faster. But the timing is uh, kind of tight. Yeah. So I was practicing this trick, and then when, as soon as I got it, I actually, in the super uh, super slowdown cutscene, if you use this trick, he goes extremely fast, and you can't win anymore. Mm. I tested that because the trigger is like 100 kilometers away. That's a really good song. Yeah, it's a really good song. We're obviously going 80 miles an hour. Yeah. I sadly don't know the lyrics to this. Yeah. I know the lyrics to Sands of Time. So yeah, if you skip this cutscene, uh, you can't win and pass the stage. So yeah. We also can't control the train during this cutscene. Yeah. We actually get controls locked. Bowser. Yeah. Sound engine in front of the train. Yeah. No need 2000 <laughs> train series. I don't think I'm going to get it. They're stable, so yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so the, 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 like the cars that went ahead, they needed to be derail in a derail state, but they were stable, so it's not going to happen. Oh yeah, right. This is the stage so, where he blew his engine. Yeah, we blew up our engine now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not Nakazato. Where's he going? Yes. See you later. I don't think he just completed the stage. I think it's not going to complete it. We, we'll figure it out. It's yeah. not complete. We just do it again. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> you, you exited too early. <laughs> I don't want to wait 50 minutes. We're, We're just, just gonna waiting for the comic to come up. I think it's not coming up. Anyways, we just do this again and listen to the same song again. Yeah. No, yeah. we're just going to do the same It's a really good song, song, though. So. Yeah. yeah, Red Line is fantastic. Yeah. Shout out to T-Stebbins. Or Travis Odyssey. Or Ken Blast. Or... Oh, the Eurobeat. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Elias. Yeah. So this time, I'll keep and get you the train safe to the yeah. finish line. Um, gonna do it normally intended way. Normally intended so way. But I'll have to say sorry again, because you guys will all blow up. Yeah. I'm gonna have to blow you up. So... Hey! Hey, we're blowing yeah. up! Woo! That's fast. Yeah. <laughs> so after the train blowed up, we actually get a new train. No, not, not, not us. Really? Not us. No, we just oh. play a different character. Yeah. But he would theoretically get a new engine in it. But right? in the next game. In the next, next game. game. Shout out to Climax Stage, which is better. <laughs> climbing Stage. I mean, cl Climbing Stage has the way to instantly build up max speed. So yes. So which yes. is like so good. With Climbing Stage, if you're like below, I think, 120 kilometers, was it? And you just hold accelerate and you mesh either the emergency or normal brakes, yeah. like fast. You just ramp up to 120 in like less than a second. Yeah. So we haven't uh, said anything, but if you hold acceleration, you're locked to a certain amount of speed. Depends on which stage you are. Uh, so we see like in Lightning Stage and other games, often we just don't accelerate because that would lock us to a certain speed. But we're going to use that trick or this mechanic in the last stage here. Otherwise, we would have a really big problem. You gain some speed throughout the corners. But you're holding acceleration afterwards again? No, yeah. you, you let go of it. No, you don't let go. If it's go it's gonna like cancel out anyway, ah, if yeah. you don't hold it. If you hold acceleration, it just gets... It's just like an actual in intended I mean. speed boost. Ah. Sad. Sad place. Gotta ramp yes. up to 400 kilometers an hour. We didn't mention that actually multi-track drifting doesn't do anything in this game, sadly. Okay, this time you wait. <laughs> yeah, this time I wait. This time it should also trigger the cutscene. Yeah. 
There you go. Yay! And and I'm, I'm sorry! Yep. Uh, we drove too fast. Yeah, you guys will be fine, no worries. Speedrun is lit. <laughs> so I actually have to wait until the cutscene starts, yeah. otherwise we would be in a slow motion. Look at this depressed. Sad, sad Takumi. <laughs> sad Takumi. Sad Takumi noises. What sad drifting noises. What yeah. happened? So this is the last stage and oh. now yep. you will see what's going to happen. If I can pull it off first yeah. try, that would be great. I believe. So let's see. So he's getting himself bumped so he can get in front. There we go, nice. I got it! Let's go. Let's, let's right. see if everything right, works so out. Yeah, you, you better have those sunglasses on now. Yeah, and, and they're gonna the, be really useful. And the seat belts, make sure yeah. you got those. Keep an eye on yeah. kilometers per hour. Yeah. We're <laughs> <laughs> going really fast. We'll go even faster, no worries. Okay, now you're out of the hour. Yeah, it's fine. Oh no, he flew over oh, me! No. I have to reset. <laughs> oh. But hey, you still got it first try. Yeah, you got right? it first try. First try? Easy. First try! Just the physics. Uh, yeah, yeah. Some, sometimes the yeah. physics are kind of messed up and he just flows over you. But, um, yeah, it's a really tight window to get it. Uh, ah, ah. It's that's why the estimate is 50 minutes. Oops. Yeah, <laughs> only because, because of this of stage. Just because of that stage. So let's hope we get it. The rest is easy. The rest is pretty easy. Yeah. What we try to do is that we are flying in the air and let the opponent hit us all the time. Yeah, like and the, get stuck. in this stage, the opponent is supposed to rubber band you at all times. But the thing yeah. is that the speed at which he rubber bands at is not capped at all. So he just keeps on rubber banding to you. So you can go theoretically infinite speed, but at a certain amount of speed, the game just crashes. Yeah, you go so fast, the game just doesn't know what to do. You also need to be below 1,000 kilometers an hour to hit specific triggers. Okay, let's hope it will work now. Yeah, that looks, looks good. So the orich, the perfect goal is... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that cutscene is actually valid for this, or like very fitting. It's just like, yeah. what? Okay, he tried to let us fly, but I have yeah. to, he, I'm he, not allowed to go over thousand kilometers per hour. If you enter that flying state, it's the best because you don't re derail, you're not on the track, so yeah. <laughs> just keep on flying. But there's nobody in there! Thought we had passengers! That's, they're fine. Yeah, they're fine. I, I mean, the light is so bright in there, they don't oh, see true. anything. Yeah, it's so bright. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this camera angle is the only camera angle you can have that doesn't, like, white out. Yeah, if you go too fast, it just whites out. But we want to see what's going to happen, yeah. so... So there are just a few points where he can actually let us fly. And if he doesn't yeah. let us fly, that's still fine. Whee! So originally this stage is 16 minutes long. Oh, oh this is looking go. good! We're flying, that's yeah. good! So this is actually flying trains and burning stage as yeah. well. So does anyone want to play that? All you have to do is press A if you hit 900 kilometers per hour. <laughs> Any volunteers? No. All right. Keep on flying. No. Also, as you can see, if we go faster, the, the, the train, off the camera that kind works. of stretches the view. <laughs> yeah. If we have enough time, it could like theoretically show off how it looks like if you go way too fast. Yeah. Because it also has a really funny side effect if we go in too oh, fast. Yeah. The so, engine wasn't coded with this yeah. in mind. So if you get this first first try and everything works out, the stage is three minutes long instead of 16. Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, let's go. Sure, go ahead. Hal C donated $50, donating for multi-track drifting. Give link to Song Yo. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Speedy donated $5. Hey, Jugachi, looking forward to you getting world record this run. <laughs> Shoutouts to the hype crowd behind less than three. Also, how long can we go before we fall into train pun territory? <laughs> Crysterius213 donated $5. You passed my stop a few minutes ago. Can we drift back? <laughs> I have a transfer to cash. Sure thing. Time is coming up very soon. Yeah. Soon. 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 So... 
Yep, just a couple more stations yeah, it's, left. It's just one or two more stations. It's gonna be our final stop. Wait, isn't this Sand of Time? Yeah, it is Sand of Time. It's a remix. And Time! Oh, time. Cut oh, scene. Yeah, this is the best cutscene so in the game. Here's the best cutscene. This is why we love Danger so much. Just you can't understand anything, but you will notice what is yeah, happening. Yeah, just look at the pictures. You're in for a ride. <laughs> you can come up with some story while you're reading this if you want to. Okay, let's see. He just he's makes a magic, a magic trick, magic you know. Trick. And he's like, I can do that with my ear. <laughs> or yeah. <laughs> and then he's like, Yeah, I can like <laughs> do this. <laughs> I can saw Seiji in half. <laughs> like, I have swords, you seen that before? What about this? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that Kenta? I think that's yeah, Kenta. I think it's Kenta, yeah, <laughs> getting stabbed. And they're like, what? <laughs> Station noises. You just picking up trash for some reason? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's like Seiji bots. Yeah, we heard. And then, ooh, bunnies! <clears throat> Nani, bunnies? Oh, yeah. There's a cannon and a train. And a train. What is going to happen? <laughs> Peekaboo! He's going into the cannon. <laughs> this is Ryosu's cannon. Ryosu's so, good. let's go. Oops, there's a train. <laughs> He's like, Nani. That didn't went well. <laughs> so, yeah. And that's, and that's how Burning Stage just ends. <laughs> yeah. I could... The last... I don't have the train, huh? Oh, yeah, you don't have the train because, yeah. Oh, right. That's fine. Don't, yeah, you, don't you have saves? I have saves. If we have enough time, I can yeah. try to let the game be crashing. Okay, sure thing. We're, we're good. Okay, I need save states. System all. System all. Okay, like, rename this. Instead of all, we just call it system. Run it in Japanese. I think the nation just came in. We'll see. Okay, let's see. So, yeah, oops, I just quit oh, yeah. the game. <laughs> nice! <laughs> That's a good trick. That was the trick, by the way. World record. World record. <laughs> So yeah, this game is also region locked, so you have to use an em we have to use an emulator because we are not Asian. You could install a Japanese language pack, yeah, yeah. and then run with that. But yeah, ay ay ay, wait no, ay ay ay. What kind of color do we want? Yes, 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 yes is a good color. I take yes. Oh, oh, yes. Is that white or pink? Okay, let's see. I just need to get the trick, and then everything yeah. is fine. So shoutouts to Sonic to finding a consistent way of doing this. And yeah, consistent. I consistent. Think. consistent. <laughs> it's consistent for everyone besides me. Yeah, RNG, right. Mm -hmm. It's obviously RNG, Cup. <laughs> I mean, I taught Mitako in like 10 minutes so to do this trick. And he's already better than me. Oops, I think I go too fast. Uh, that's the RNG aspect. Fine. You're just very unlucky. Yeah, it's unlucky. It's 100% RNG, Kappa. Eat! Go! Come on, this is the one. I hope so. Why is he so fast suddenly? It's not the one. So what we try to do is be roughly at 100 kilometers per hour and then just getting hit by him. Or we'll just punch him. The timing is weird because if you go too slow, you can't multi track drift. So you need a certain amount of speed to be able to multi track drift. That looks good. That is good. good. Okay, and now Yay. I show you how it looks if everything goes crazy. Okay, he's coming. Back facing camera? No? Yeah. So. It doesn't really matter what is going to happen now. So yeah, have you seen? S oh. Oh, oh, that works. That works. It, it kind of works. Wait, so now, now we go at a thousand kilometers per hour now. I think. Yeah, this is roughly a thousand kilometers per hour, like casually, you know. 
So you see that the train is kind of uh, weird looking. Yeah, the camera doesn't really know what to do. Yeah, if you're going too fast, the uh, train is going to s s stress. Does that actually work in every single game, the camera thing? Or just no, no, thing? only in Burning Stage for some reasons. The Junior she just has it in Burning Stage. I and yeah, you can best a little bit with the camera, so... Oh, we're catching up! We're catching up! We're catching up! <laughs> so what I originally wanted to show off is if you're like in the air and stuck there, um, your train will get uh, stretched a lot and then flipped. So yeah. that looks weird. And then the game crashes. Yeah, and the game crashes. Oh, that was a goal. Oh. Nice. That was really fast. Is yeah. that actually no shred? I don't know. <laughs> yes, Did I just <laughs> found something? <laughs> Oh my god! You did win! I think it, yeah, it That triggers the win yeah. cutscene! Yeah. Oh my god! We should test it! <laughs> can, can we do another run for Warbreak? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright. God damn it. I told you you'll find something! <laughs> Why in the marathon though? <laughs> Why not? Okay, I guess sub. You said 25 minutes is possible. Yeah, it is possible. This is now possible. <laughs> yeah, that's the first. Yeah. That never happened before? Yeah. Woo! So yeah, I want to thank everyone that were my passengers. Thank you very much. Yeah. I hope you had fun. It was kind of train wreck, but that's that's what's happening. Um, I also want to thank um, Speedy and Sonic for helping me to get to this event because they donate a lot of money to that I can actually go here. So big sh thanks to them. I also thank my commentators uh, for helping me out. And I hope you will see more danger in the future. So thank you very much yeah. and have a good one, everyone. Bye.